Hey ya, it's your girl Buya and welcome back to my channel. So another video, another top 10 recommendations. So for today's video, I'll be recommending my top 10 pink lippy recommendations. Strictly bullet type lipsticks or stick type lipsticks. This is the second time I filmed a best pink lippy recommendations. Yung first one, I actually filmed it sa ruins, the Nisai City, pre-pandemic pa yon. And it's such a beautiful vlog, guys, kasi napakaganda ng view and also just the setup. It's just so magical. So if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend that you guys check it out. Now let's get on to the top 10. First lippy that I have on my list is actually what I'm wearing right now. It's really beautiful. And actually, when I swatched this, sa isa kong review and swatch party of the complete set of this. Sobrang ang daming bet nito. As in, madami talaga ang Morena girls na nakikita ko in the comment section below na gusto gusto talaga nila yung shade na to. And they really felt like that this is the perfect pink for them. The kind of pink na hindi siya intimidating and hindi siya bright. It's just enough yung pagka-pink niya na magko-complement talaga sa mga morenas, especially mga deep morenas. So, the product that I'm talking about is from Lipinas. Ito yung color matte lipstick nila. And this is in the shade sa mga nakapanood ng review, alam niyo na to. This is in the shade Panagdenga. And again, napaka-cute ng shade name nila kasi it's inspired by the Philippine Festival. Napaka-conversation starter niya. And for us din na hindi masyado in touch with our history or with our Philippine roots, ma-remind tayo whenever we do our makeup. Kasi, oh, when you pick up the shade Panagdenga, you're reminded sa festival ng Baguio and so on. Which is really, really nice. Yung gusto ko lang i-improve ng Lipinas is yung formulation nila sa stick kasi medyo matigas and medyo dry siya. So, when you apply it on your lips, you really have to put in pressure which medyo nakaka-anxious siya kasi may feeling na, oh, baka if I put a lot of pressure, baka maputol yung stick. The next three lippies that I have with me, I part siya ng isang malaking collaboration. And the collaboration that I'm talking about is yung sa Detail Cosmetics and dun sa 12 beauty vloggers. So, again, tatlo yung pinili ko for this top 10. And the first shade na isi-share ko sa inyo na sobrang gustong gusto ko is yung shade na Ryza Kontawi. Hi Ryza! If you're watching, I really like her shade and isa to sa mga pinks or shades dun sa collaboration nila na one of the parts ng lighter spectrum. Pero kahit light siya, it's something that would still work sa mga morenas or deep morenas. That's what I like about this shade so much. And ano lang siya, parang powdery rose mauve kind of pink pero hindi siya deep. If you feel like yung Ashley Yap or yung About Raph medyo light na siya sa inyo pero you still want to sport a light pink pero hindi siya baby pink or baby pastel pink then I highly recommend the shade Ryza Kontawi. The next shade that I have with me from the Powder Pout collection is yung shade na Heidi da Kanai. So if yung shade na Ryza Kontawi is more siya on the lighter spectrum, then yung Heidi da Kanai naman ay more on the deeper spectrum. Now, it's weird when I say yung Ryza Kontawi or yung Heidi da Kanai because I'm talking about the shade, but at the same time, nalilito ako kasi these are people. <laughs> now, for the third and final shade ng Powder Pout Collection na in-include ko for this top 10, I had to include it kasi for me, dupe siya ng Sunny's Face Fluff Matte in the shade Girl Crush. And yung Girl Crush na yun, guys, yun talaga yung nirecommend ko when people ask me kung ano yung kind of pink that I would recommend sa fluff mattes naman. But anyway, going back to the third and final shade that we have here from Powder Pout, the shade that I'm talking about is... Hazel King. So Hazel King for me is a fiery kind of pink. All right, the next lippy that I have with me is before I said na ito yung parang counterpart or parang similar sila na shade ni Heidi Dakanay ng Powder Palette. Pero ito, now that I I saw them once again parang together, parang I feel like this shade is Para same sila na intensity ng shade ng Heidi Dakanai. For si Heidi Dakanai, more siya on the cool tone. Lipstick that I'm talking about is from Squad Cosmetics. Ito yung soft matte nila. This is in the shade 
posh. And kagaya ng powder pot, mabilis din siyang maputol. Pero I would say, yung formula niya ay mas mabilis maputol compared sa powder pot. As you can see, ayun, wala na. Yun yung ayaw ko dito is, ayun, natatanggal siya agad. And again, it's a waste of product. Kahit nga, oo, mura siya. Pero, mabilis siyang maputol. Which is, not, ah! Wala na, nalaglag na. Ayun, tapos kapag nalaglag mo siya sa floor, ayan, nalaglag sa floor, di mo na, di mo na siya magagamit kasi na-contaminate mo na yung lipi mo. So, yun lang yung ayaw ko dito. And, um, hindi mo din siya ma-repair with just, you know, candle. Kasi alam ko may hack nun eh na i-melt mo yung lipi mo and then join them together. But, you can do that. Pero, I think, it's just a temporary, you know, aid to it. Because in my opinion, kailangan yung pag-formulate talaga ng stick yung ayusin niya. Maybe you can work around it by just depotting the lipstick. Wag na lang kayo mag-rely on the stick itself. Sayang sana kasi maganda yung packaging kasi eco-friendly and napakamura pa ng Squad Cosmetics na product. Before we head on to the next top 5, if you like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. By liking and subscribing, you're helping boost up this video para maka-reach pa tayo ng more Boo fam just like you. Last but not the least, if you're interested to get the products that I mentioned in this video, then I will be linking them down in the description box below. A little disclaimer lang that some of the links in the description box below are affiliate links, which means I may earn a small commission when you buy products through those links. And that commission will really help sustain and grow this channel. So if you like the videos that I produce and you want to support my content, then that is one way to support the growth of this channel. The next clip that I have for you is at the in endorse ni Catherine Bernardo. And this is something that I've also done a swatch party of and a review of. So if you want to check it out, I will be linking it down in the description box below also. So the lippy that I'm talking about is my Lips But Better Ultra Matte Lippy. This is from Generation Happy Skin. And the shade that I chose is yung shade na Charm. Medyo may pagka rosewood yung kind of pink niya. And I would say it's a kind of mature kind of pink. Also maganda yung lippy na to kasi madami siyang lip carrying ingredients in it. Kasi yan talaga yung mantra ng Happy Skin I would say is it's more of a skin carrying product than a makeup product or just a makeup product. They really prioritize skincare or lip care. But the thing naman with this specific lippy is dahil napaka creamy niya and napaka buttery, mabilis siyang mag-melt. Next lippy that I have with me is from Ara Color, si Ara Mina. Ayan. And this lippy actually reminds me of the EB Advanced Mathematic Lip Define na formula. Pero yung difference lang nila, yung Lip Define ay medyo dewy pa siya and medyo madami siyang ilaw na na-reflect compared dito. Ito medyo mas matte pa siya. So sa top 10 recommendations ko, I would say this is the lightest kind of pink here. Although light siya na kind of pink, hindi siya yung pastel or powdery type kagaya ng sa Ryza Kontawi. Next lippy that I have with me ay sobrang sobrang gusto ko yung formula niya. Not as much yung shade, to be honest. Pero yung formula niya, sobrang favorite ko. Yung formula niya kasi ay lakas maka, ano siya, high-end. Pero drugstore product lang siya. And the product that I'm talking about is yung color lipstick ng Cafe Doll. This is in collaboration with Sanrio. Ito yung Hello Kitty collection nila. And this is in the shade Cherry Bomb. So yung Cherry Bomb, as you can see, napakatapang ng kind of pink niya. It's very strong. I know not a lot of people will be able to sport it, especially pang everyday na lippy. Kahit ako, hindi ko to masusport talaga for everyday. Bihira ko lang masusport yung shade na to. Kaso, ang ganda lang talaga kasi ng formula niya. For a drugstore product, it really does feel like high-end. And kahit yung packaging niya, medyo ano siya, it has weight to it. You feel na, wait, parang ano ah, mamahalin. Also, yung finish niya ay on the satin finish siya. So, magbabounce talaga yung ilaw. And again, really luxurious yung look niya. We have another fiery pink dito sa top 10 recommendations ko. And this is from the brand Vice Cosmetics. So, this is in the shade Have They. So, this 
this is more on the deep than kind of pink and it's very fiery. I think this is the most fiery one. Medyo strong talaga yung orange hue niya. Also maganda yung pagka matte finish niya kasi hindi siya yung flat kind of matte. Last lippy that I have for you is from the same brand. Pero ito naman in collaboration with none other than Miss Anne Clutz. Nakakalungkot kasi limited edition siya. Pero ang ganda ng lippy na to. Pero ayan, eto siya guys. This is yung ano nila, soft matte lippy in the shade Anne Clutz Vlogs. It actually reminds me of the previous shade. Yung shade na Have. Pero eto more on the, ano lang, medyo chill pa siya. Medyo fiery din siya. Pero medyo nag-hold back pa siya. Nag-hold back. Medyo ano pa siya, introvert na kind of fiery shade. Grab it now while it's still on Shopee or Lazada kasi limited edition lang siya. It's really, really nice. So that's it, you guys, for this Top 10 Pink Lippy Recommendations Part 2. If meron pa kayong Top 10 Recommendations for me, i-comment nyo lang in the comment section below para magawan ko na din ng video. If you like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, channel and share this video and of course again if you want to be a part of the boo fam community we have a facebook group and a discord server the links to those groups will be in the description box below also if you have any makeup or beauty questions that you have for me don't be shy to message me on my instagram account it's at makeup babuya my dm is open 24 7 for any beauty questions that you have for me. If you have any more comments or video suggestions, then please do enter them down in the comment section below. Just remember, no hate, just love.